Cuando el music contra, dale, vete para allá Solo déjame bailar, solo déjame perrear Cuando el music contra, dale, vete para allá Solo déjame bailar, solo déjame perrear Yo era tu todo, me dudaste Yo tenía todo, me robaste Yo te lo di, tú te vas a hacer Lord. It was a bit too really complicated, you know. But I'm not sure anything. Because like mm. wine. Cheers. Drink. You know one thing though? I wish, like, I drank. I wish I could. I was like other people who just drink alcohol and drink wine and just be nice and look nice. But look at me, I'm drinking iced tea. It's okay, it, 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 it looks the same on the glass. I mean, anyways, guys, welcome back to today's vlog. Yeah, today's vlog is um, at the beginning of my vacation. I have vlogged already. It was very interesting and, and it was a bit transitional. I was just getting out of quarantine and lockdown and then getting into the real world. And it was nice, I suppose. It was engineering. I, I did a few things. Just give me a minute, let me open my laptop so I can, can see what I'm talking about. Because like, it feels like I'm just talking to myself and no one's listening. Anyways, I'm sorry for that. Although I was absent, completely absent on YouTube, I still was devoted to my vlogging. I vlogged a lot. Like I said in my life update video, that one. I said I have learned, I'm now at a level where vlogging takes nothing out of me. Like literally, I can just vlog anything anyway and it's just good content comes out nice. I'm, I'm that confident. Enough. And this video that has been a series of events and activities and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. i you guys through it and you know, to keep the vibe going. In case you're new here, my name is Derek Bucci and you're welcome to my channel. Please like this video, subscribe and then keep watching until the end. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Graduation. My friends graduated. So in my school, we have two graduations a year. Uh, some students who came on September, they have different graduations. Um, they graduate by June, July, which is normal. And then students like me, who came May, April, and March intake, we graduate in like September. Sorry, December. Yes, December. So yeah, the, our classmates, who came in September because like they put us together so we can get the same lectures you know you know how things right so yeah we they graduated here and I went to see the ceremony. And it was nice. A uh, part of the best part, the best part of you. Know, the best part about, about that was that I, I saw them and it was beautiful, there was friends, we made friends, we, we, we got along during the lockdown, we hung out a lot, and we made new friends, both Chinese and foreigners, and it was just beautiful. Tommy's. The graduation happened, it happened, and it nice. Congratulations to them. Hopefully, we get to do our own in December. So, after the graduation, um, I think it was like the next day, or let's just say like the next week. The next week was kind of interesting. Uh, we went for my school. They like to take us at the time anyways. We went for this, um, what do they call it, uh, school trip to a railway station thing, construction to, you know, sightseeing. I think it was a company. We also have other companies and branches all over the world. And they were doing some railway station on our school. Thought it was a nice idea to take the students to go and see things. So we went. <laughs> Going there, 
I I had a little bit of deja vu, obviously, it was vlogging, I was vlogging it, but it was hot, real hot. I'm telling you guys, hot, like gummy jelly hot. I was fainted. Like, I don't understand how engineers spend so much time there. Like, I cannot, I'm, I'm not that wrong. Mm, not me, babes. Nope. Miss me out. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi Time uh, was uh, kind of shallowy, so to say. It was there was like a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of things was going on, but then I could only vlog a few. I could only get a few clips out of things, so I didn't really vlog so much. Here, yeah. I went to the Jinan city and I just enjoyed my life, enjoy the peace and the calm. Beautiful, beautiful sightseeing by the way. Chunan is beautiful. They have a lot of infrastructures and nice buildings and nice road and everything. The flowers, it was it was beautiful. I like that. Place. So, I'm trying to take a passport picture and uh, I'm here at the place to take the picture, right? So, um, they have extra clothes to wear, so I uh, decided to put on this on that they have. And I just realized something, I look so good in this suit, I just realized that it's been a while since I last wore a suit. Why did I stop wearing a suit? <laughs> but yeah, I do like myself in this suit. I do. me because like I am I've been struggling a lot with vlogs you know because like I am getting kind of a bit tired of the whole uh, Chinese content creating thing of going to the road the restaurants and stuff it's just really kind of um, I just uh, I'm beginning to get a little bored I think so I decided to um, just I don't know take some time to actually think on my plan as a kind of creator, what I actually want to do and whether or not it matters and I just really 
needed a little time to restructure my own content, my whole content plans and strategies. And uh, like, uh, I just really like to know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. That's when I, I have the best time. So I think that's why you guys have not been seeing a lot of content. And also I've been kind of busy, busy, really busy. I've been a busy bitch. Anyways. <sighs> Today I have appointment. I'm not appointment. I'm going to get my passport from uh, the Public Security Bureau. That's like the immigration place. I I will need my resident permit. I'm gonna pick it up today, right now, and then I'm gonna go back to the dorm and I'm gonna do a COVID test as well because we've been like doing COVID test for like every two days. This is so like for you to enter anywhere. For you to like enter anywhere, sorry. For you to like enter anywhere in China right now, you need um, a proof or a COVID test um, thingy that says uh, you've had a COVID test for like the past 48 hours. Like that's like 48 hour minutes COVID test um, these days. So that's why we have to do COVID test every two days. So after I do that, I go to COVID test and then I'm gonna update you guys on whatever it's happening, okay? But you, you hear from me, okay? Bye. After the whole section, after the whole that whole week was kind of blurry because I cannot remember a lot of things that happened, but we um we were finally told, hey students, you can now travel and live Jinan. Was I not going crazy? Like I so happy I was the happiest person on earth, and then I moved out. And I spent one whole week there actually, seven days. And it was hi Kai. Hey guys. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Today is the first day of vacation. We are officially on holiday. Although I do have one exam to go, which is my HSK for exam, like the Chinese one. But yeah, we're officially on holiday. That one's gonna be online, so it's not a problem. Right now I'm going out. I have a whole travel plan so you guys are going to see trust me you're going to have fun i'm gonna have plenty plenty travel vlogs yeah but in the meantime i have right now i'm going out i'm in the city center sort of i think i'm looking for a cafe place to go and work because i need wi-fi and i also need to eat i've not eaten properly in like days now yesterday i had like good chicken legs and two slices of bread and I had water and I had one big watermelon but who am I deceiving? that's not enough and that's not food so I'm going to go find proper food and uh, run a little bit of errand and then uh, find a coffee place like somewhere I can just go relax, work and use the free wifi anyways, come with me, okay? so it looks like someone is having a wedding today because like there's a, a convoy it's decorated also, you guys, I like how this place looks. I like the design of the streets, and I like the trees, and I like the sun, and the shades, and the fresh air. It's refreshing. Also, I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way, but we're going to see. I look like a house boy. <laughs> The air is really refreshing today, you guys. Like, really, really refreshing. I need to remember how I came out of here, because, girl. <laughs> guys, remember when I said I wanted really good food? I'm wondering if this counts as one of those. It's not. Let me go find good food. Also, I am definitely, definitely going to come here. Like, yeah. Here's another restaurant. 
However, I would have gone inside, but I don't, I don't appreciate the bike that's in there. I'm like, I can't imagine someone going to sit to eat and there's a bike with tire and dirt. Oh wow, let's go. Someone who's not eating for two days. I don't know why I am. Hold on. I don't know why I'm stressing myself doing this, walking up a hill. So, you guys, I have a little gossip for you all. You guys see that lady? It's right over there in that bike. So, she was just filming me and very stylishly. I should think that I did not know about that. Hey. Mian ro ba mian. Something about New Year and Chinese meat noodles thing. I don't know. But no. Noodles? Let me see what they have inside. This is what they have fun, so I think that's good. So I just so I, I went in there to ask the lady what she was talking about, what kind of food is that one. But with what, what I was seeing there, I was seeing a lot of spice, I was seeing a lot of oily noodles. And I don't think that's a good definition of a good food. So I have to go find somewhere else to eat. You remember how I came from here? I didn't find anything by there. Right? Yes, right. So I'm gonna come back here and look to see if there's anything I can find from this side and then I'll see. Hey. Oh, I think this is looking kind of promising. Braised chicken rice. Let's see what they have. Oh. Oh, they didn't have anything, they said they would have something. Because like when I went in there, I saw some chicken in the restaurant on the tables. So they said they would have food in like an hour which is like 10 they open at 10 so i don't think i want to wait for that one you guys i'm really tired of this search it's getting annoying now there is also an option for baozi um but ah uh, jinan baozi it's not nice jinan people don't know how to make baozi at all it's not delicious Trust me. I think I want to eat here. Sadly, they didn't have like the kind of food that I wanted, but I think this one was excellent. I didn't like it at first, but as I started eating them, it felt right. So I'm gonna go back there. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they will have lunch soon, and then I'm gonna go back there to have lunch. Oh, there's a nice food here. Let me show you. Maybe I'm going to come back here for lunch. I went to um, I went for a massage. I've, 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 it's been a while since I had a massage before that day, and I needed it so badly because in the dorm we don't have uh, normal relaxing places, so I just have to sit on the decks and work. And it was it was it was not nice at all, but it was fine. It was 
It was okay. Anyways, the, the massage was great. That guy is very good. His hands are strong. How did he even manage to have so you his this man's hand was strong? And it was nice. And I enjoyed it. And then after that, yeah. <laughs> So, the last part, um, I watch shows now. I watch a lot of Chinese shows now. You guys remember when I told you guys that I was going to start practicing my Chinese, right? The best part about it is that I, I got to watch a lot of Chinese shows on YouTube and they were beautiful and they were interesting and I loved them and they helped me practice Chinese well. So, I learned my Chinese from them. So, I was watching a lot of Chinese shows, both, both BL series and normal series and everything. Can you stop the police? This is a This is a And uh, this one is very interesting. This one is very interesting. I'm sorry, I forgot to name. Was it Guardian? No, Guardian. Please, Guardian. But it's so interesting. You know what's funny? Because like when you're not in the Chinese circle, when you're not in their circle and you don't speak Chinese, you think that they're just robots, right? But these people actually have personalities and they have feelings and they have humor. And you see their mouth is fire. They talk to you if you get to hear Chinese and hear the things that these people say. Oh, and they give the best gossips ever. <laughs> oh, that's one thing I love about Chinese. Yo, these people know how to gossip. Huh? They can gossip well and phew, love, love. And yeah, this one was interesting and I loved it. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So, guys, that will be the end for this video. I hope that you guys uh, had fun. I hope it was not boring. I have a lot of travel vlogs to edit. I have tons and tons of travel vlogs. You guys are not going to believe I traveled everywhere in China. Currently, I'm in Beijing. I'm at my friend's trousers. And that's why I'm able to edit and that's why it's going well now. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I always appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much and I love everything about like it's just I'm talking too much, okay? I'm gonna see you guys in the next upload. Bye! Mm.